Hello everyone, it's Sylvia from Felitar. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at a bit of a sneak preview of a video uh, that um, I will offer to my members. I'm going to launch memberships in uh, September and uh, I'm quite excited about that because I've got a lot of responses from some of you and uh, there's a lot of enthusiasm and especially because for me this is what I wanted since the beginning. So the whole reason why I am on YouTube is because I really want to create these meaningful connections with the uh, tarot community. And uh, I've already um, shown you a preview of one of the videos that will be available um, to my members. And that is every month I will show you the decks that I'm going to call for my collection. Therefore, if you're a member of my channel, you will have the possibility to have a look at these decks and reach out to me if you want to buy them before I actually uh, put them on the uh, Facebook groups I usually use uh, to either sell or uh, trade my decks. And this is something else that I'm going to do. So every week on a Monday, I'm going to post a video in which I'm going to read every week from a different decks, the energies of that week. So obviously you will be able to access this video if you are a member of my channel. But this is accessible, this video in specific is accessible to everyone, obviously because I haven't launched the memberships yet and I just wanted to have a bit of an idea of what you can get, what the benefits and the perks will be if you decide to sign up with me. So today we're going to use this really special deck, it's called Le Essentiali, so the essentials, and it re it's referred back to the essential oils and the properties of the plants and the flowers. This is an Italian deck, um, it has been written and created by Stefania Zani, she's a very famous um, reader and teacher also in Italy. Um, and she created this deck as a cooperation with an artist, uh, Filippo Manassero. Now, this deck is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I really like the idea of having a look at the energies thanks to the meaning that the essential oils have. Um, so Stefania basically did a lot of research on the properties of the plant and the flowers involved in the creation of these essential oils. And um, thanks to um, you know the artistic work of the illustrator, she's made this wonderful deck, um, which is, um, as you can tell, it's on arts, art paper. Um, I don't know if you can tell like this, probably. Um, so obviously it feels, I can tell you right now, it feels like a bit of a precious kind of deck in the sense that obviously you don't want to mistreat it like I always do with all of my decks. Um, but I've followed Stefania for a couple of years already and she uses the very same deck every day. And she shuffles, she does everything with this deck, so it's not a, a fragile kind of deck. I can assure you that it can actually take a shuffling, it can take, you know, as many readings as you want. And what I'll do, I'll just make sure to put Stefania's um, website in the description box below, just in case you want to um, have a look at this, um, at this deck. Now, obviously, the names are in Italian. However, she does provide with the Latin name as well. And um, nowadays, honestly, with Google Translate, we can literally have access to everything around the world. It's not that difficult and there's not a lot of writing on the cards, even though I do recommend reading the guidebook because it is very informative. Um, for example, I'm just going to show you. Uh, so the Boswellia Sacra is the incense plant. So you've got the uh, uh, a bit of a characteristics related to yin and yang. You've got a planet, you've got an um, astrological sign. You've got a correspondence with a chakra and uh, a keyword. So the keyword for an incense plant is the truth. So obviously it talks about um, what the properties of the essential oils are. And there's also an esoteric interpretation, therefore a magic interpretation or a divination if you want. So this is basically what you can find on the guidebook. It's very well done. The quality is just absolutely superb. I highly recommend this deck. 
but as I said, it is in Italian. In any case, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change deck every week. So what I will also ask you, if you want me to use a specific deck, you can obviously reach out to me. There will be a website that will be launched at the same time. There will also be a Facebook page and that will be a private one only for members so there's a lot of things that will come as perks with the membership because i really do believe in a lot of interactions and um you know i i am semi-retired so basically this is going to be my um, main job my main profession and um hopefully you know there'll be enough of us for me to be able to support the channel and and go ahead and have even more interactions because this is uh this this to me is one of the things that we need to do in order to or i need to do at least i feel like i need to create these meaningful connections with others in order to be able you know to to um to live a life as as best as we can because that's really the secret of getting rid of that anxiety, that uncertainty, that sense of feeling unsafe by creating these meaningful connections. Now, let's have a look. So the video will be like this. I will basically, let me make some room in here and perhaps zoom out, not in. <laughs> A little bit so um, I will um, pull a card for each and every day and that will be the energy of the day so let's have a look today is Tuesday in Australia but I know that is still uh, Monday in the US um, I have to say 95% of my viewers are from the US um, but it will be um, posted on Monday in Australia as well because I, I care about my fellow Australians that follow me and I think, you know, um, obviously Australia is far ahead. Um, we're eight hours ahead of Europe. And, you know, depending on where you live in the US, we're 14 hours ahead of you. So obviously there'll be um, the, what I post on Mondays will be for the whole week. And you'll be able to see it as many times and when, whenever you want. But let's focus and let's pull seven cards. seven and let's have a look at what we've got so these are the cards that I pulled what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna pull one by one so I can actually zoom in because I think that's the best option so this will be the energies for Monday obviously as I said today is already Tuesday but this is a, a bit of a sample video um, or a sneak preview video for you to um, to see what will be available as a perks um, for my membership and we've got eucalyptus with relief. I have to say that that was exactly what my Monday was. Um, so we talk about energies around the word relief. And now, I don't know if you know, but eucalyptus is a very common plant here in Australia. And um, it is uh, the essential oil that you can take out of eucalyptus is very powerful. It's a minty, but very, very pungent, very spicy kind of minty. Uh, smell and flavor. Uh, some eucalyptus uh, can actually be used um, in many different ways. You can use it, for example, for massage, but also uh, with a diffuser. And in some cases, um, there is a few uh, tribes in uh, in the Northern Territory, for example, that actually use eucalyptus leaves in their daily diet. So it can actually be consumed. Now, relief is, it is the moment in which you just reach the point uh, where you can actually let go. And the reason why um, we, it's important for us to have it on a Monday is because, generally speaking, a Monday is always charged up with a lot of expectations. So expectations that mostly others have on us and that we feel. There's a bit of a pressure on Mondays. It's a new week. It's, it, feel, it almost feels as if you have to accomplish something because of that, because it's a Monday, it's a new week. 
I tend not to look at that that way. Um, Mondays are Mondays and they have the same meaning of a Thursday, for example. But it is rather important to note that when the Eucalyptus card comes up, it really is this kind of um, almost a, an, an assertion, I need to get some relief, I need to get some reprieve. So just remind yourself to make some time to just relax and let go of all those expectations that are putting pressure on you. That's the, let's say, energy for Monday. For Tuesday, which is right now for us in Australia, um, okay, so sage, a sage with intuition. Now, intuition is a very important energy. It feels as if today will be dedicated to have a look at how to empower our own life and have that kind of use a kind of intuition that we all have at different levels in order to be able to uh, achieve whatever it is that we want to achieve for this week. So it looks as if after the relief and uh, the reprieve on a Monday, we are actually called upon uh, using our intuition to do a little bit of planning on a Tuesday. The energy for the Wednesday is the grapefruit. So the grapefruit is funnily enough, I've never knew that, but my husband who's actually working in this kind of field, um, he told me that it's part of citruses, um, perhaps because um, you know, <laughs> grapefruits for us are quite uh, exotic kind of fruits and they've always been very expensive in Italy, so I never actually uh, had them. Um, it's a very big fruit, isn't it? So what I really like is the association that Stefania found between the grapefruit and the keyword, which is body. Now, our body is something that we need to just always be aware of. It comes after, as we, as we saw before, it comes after the intuition on the Tuesday. And it's almost as if it's reminding us that after being in tune with our own intuition, which is actually more related to the mind than the soul, we also need not to forget about the body. So if that reprieve, that... Um, kind of relief that came on Monday uh, gave us the possibility to look inwards. We Right now we're actually asked to look outwards, look at our body and just try and be mindful about our body on Wednesday. Uh, perhaps care about it a little bit more than you would in any other day. Perhaps do something to cleanse or do something to pamper yourself. So the copaiba in Italian is the Copaifera officinalis. I actually don't know the English name for it. This is the Latin name, uh, but um, and my husband couldn't or couldn't either because it's very difficult also to see from uh, the illustrations. What is very important to me is that we have the healing associated with this particular plant. And it feels to me like it's a kind of a natural uh, evolution from you know the moment in which you accept that moment of relief and you have time to tap into your own intuition. You need to be able to look at your body and do something to pamper yourself and take care of your body because there is that kind of healing that goes on on a Thursday. So focus on healing, the healing of the body in specific, but also the healing of the mind, the healing of the spirit. It's the moment in which we are called upon taking care of ourselves fully on the Thursday. On the Friday, we're going to have mandarin and other citrus. Um, mandarin is a symbol of joy. So this is the energy that we're going to feel on Friday and it's absolutely superb. Imagine pulling the sun card for, from your tarot deck. It is exactly that sense of limitless joy. We will not have any clouds in the sky, probably uh, not, maybe not figuratively, also, <laughs> also physically, but perhaps just figuratively, I don't know. <laughs> But there will be no clouds in our mind. We will not feel oppressed. The anxiety that we might feel sometimes will not accompany us on Friday. And it looks like, again, a natural progression between the other cards of the week, 
from the moment in which we actually accept that moment of relief on a Monday, we look into our, our intuition, we take care of our body, achieving that healing. Of course, after that healing achieved that way, you will feel joy and you will feel limitless joy on the Friday. Let's have a look at the um, energies for the Saturday with the Cypress. Cypress brings a little bit of detachment and this is the kind of detachment that to me is kind of necessary because it has been a very intense week and you kind of need to be aware that we need to follow certain rhythms and we have our own uh, way to relate to, to fatigue, for example. And so it's kind of detachment that you take whenever perhaps a little bit too much has been going on. It's always um, grounding and always intentional to take a detachment. This is not the kind of detachment you feel when you're anhedonic, so when you don't feel anything. It's the kind of detachment that is actually needed. That's the energy for the Saturday. And then last but not least, we've got Jinja for the energy for Sunday. With the awareness, awareness in Jinja is brought upon the fact that Jinja has that kind of a kick to it and just brings you back, brings your attention back to where it should be. So we've got a very intense week. We've seen there's going to be some introspection going on. There's going to be some healing on the mind and the body going on. There's going to be that sense of joy that you will feel once you feel healed. But after that, we're going to have a bit of a setback perhaps on the Saturday because of that detachment that we're going to have to look at. We're going to have to confront ourselves with. Perhaps that detachment will be necessary to achieve that sense of awareness regard, in regards to something that is going on in our lives. Perhaps we're not ready to know that right now. Perhaps we're not ready to face it right now on the Monday. So we need that evolution during the whole week in order to be able to face it and achieve awareness on the Sunday. So that was it. It's about 20 minutes and that would be about the length of my readings for the energy of the week. And this will be accessible to my members. Thank you so much for staying with me till the end of this video. More to come. Have a great day.